Our annual business meeting is September 16th, and we hope you'll join us for our amazing keynote speaker and comedian, Jess Pettit. Beautifully decorated tables, vote on your favorite, lunch, member awards, and a snapshot of the state of the association. You must register if you'd like to attend, as space is limited. Pursuing a career in real estate has its risks. NAR has declared September as Realtor Safety Month, and we have five learning opportunities for you on various aspects of the topic. To see details about these and register, head to our website. News on the local advocacy front, last month the City of St. Pete for the second time considered declaring a housing state of emergency as a precursor to rent control, and again it failed. Advocacy by the association and coalition partners highlighted why rent control is not the answer for tenants getting squeezed by higher rents. Rent control in Florida only applies to a small percentage of properties that are already affordable, but could serve as a deterrent to investment by developers in our tight inventory market. We will keep you posted on this issue. We've partnered with the DBPR to bring you two free 45-minute sessions that all real estate licensees should attend. These sessions will cover team rules, advertising guidelines, complaints and investigations, and more. Looking to give back to the community? We have two volunteer opportunities available this month, a habitat build on the 17th and a road cleanup on the 24th. The Clearwater Connect networking event will now be held at Bacon Street Diner. This event is always the first Wednesday of each month. Yes, we're still at the hangar in St. Pete on the third Wednesday of each month, and these events are free to attend and you never know who will have your next listing or referral. Remember, these are just the highlights. For the most up-to-date and comprehensive list of everything going on, visit PinellasRealtor.org forward slash calendar. See you next month. Member and instructor Deb Deesing has a message for you. She said, it took dedication and lots of study to earn your Florida real estate license. You were required to prove you know the laws related to real estate. Once you became a realtor, you pledged to hold yourself to a higher standard than the minimum the law requires. You're telling the public you are professional and one who will provide the highest level of service and ethical behavior. We have a whole department dedicated to keeping members accountable and ethical. Rather than going down the path of timely and costly civil litigation, we help members and members of the public settle disputes through mediation, arbitration, and our ombudsman program.